I remember the first time I got real diamond earrings. I was really young and I was dating a man that was very wealthy. And he bought me the most beautiful diamond earrings. And he was the most jealous man that I ever dated in my life. This is my old grade school. I haven't been here in a couple years. I had to come and uh, renew my driver's license on, on this side of town and I just found myself kind of driving to my old grade school. If you would have asked me as a little girl what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would have said two things. <laughs> I want to be an astronaut. And if I can't be an astronaut, then I want to be a rock star. I never felt that he loved me. I felt that it was a challenge. I, I felt like I was a possession, something he couldn't have. And it just, it just pushed me away. I never gave him back those diamond earrings, and he never asked for them back either. Oh, there's so many memories here. The first time I played baseball was here. The first time a, a boy kissed me was here. He pushed me down, and he, he kind of beat me up, and then he kissed me, stole my marbles. Sometimes I think those words that we hear when we're children, the names that were called, I think they stay with us. Even if we, if we don't think about them, even for years, so, somehow, maybe they're, they're part of us. Not everything is good or bad. I guess most things are just as is. These roads intersect on each one I hear and these lines write my story These places change me Each one replacing Like night into morning I miss the opening The going anywhere Riding with you Like we used to Guess I'm better off alone Never know when I'll get home But I know that home's where the heart is Guess I'm better off this way Moving to better days But I know that home's where the heart is I'm so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you so much for your input last week on my no makeup makeup look. Um, half of you really liked it and the other half really hated it. <laughs> so Thank you for your input. You know, I had so much fun trying a new look and I'm going to keep perfecting it. I'm going to try to perfect it and in June, I'm going to try again and see what you think because I love that idea of a no makeup makeup look. So thank you for that. Um, today, I thought I was going to do a couple things. Uh, I wanted to um, announce the two winners of my three years on YouTube giveaway, I had over a thousand of you enter my giveaway. So how exciting is that? So I am so excited to draw the winners. And also today I wanted to go through six changes I have, six changes I had to make with my makeup. And yeah, I did a video like this last year and now you know, it's a year later and I had to make six more changes. So anyway, I think it'll be fun. So you want to draw some winners and play with makeup? Okay, <laughs> let's do this. So another year of gravity has kind of moved things around again. So I've got these six tips and the first one I wanted to uh, bring up is a color correction palette. 
And for me, walking out the door without a color correction palette is that that wouldn't be possible. And I think of all the things you asked me, you probably asked me most about how to color correct. And I think first, you know, find a palette that is really good. My favorite color correction palette is the e.l.f. one. And I love the pigmentation and the consistency of it. And the peach. I will put underneath my eye. The green uh, I will put on anything red and it, it cancels out all my red. The blue I put over my dark circles. And then the yellow, I also will put a little bit of yellow over my red and then I will use the yellow as a lid primer and that works out really well too. But I put it underneath my primer and I think in doing that, you know, it just sort of blends in. And if you are using a color correcting palette, you use less foundation and you use less concealer. And what could be better than that? The second change that I have made that I think has made so much difference is concerning my foundation. And I no longer look for foundations with warm tones or cool tones. I just want a neutral foundation and I find that that just works so much better for me and also the way that I apply my foundation is I will just dot it in my t-zone and then I will work it out from there but with only a brush I no longer use my fingers or a beauty blender I use brushes and I will hold my skin very taut and then I will move the makeup out in circular motions and you know it's a lot like you know when you pick your eyelid up when you're doing your shadow so you can get in there and get well that's how I that's how I do my makeup now on my cheeks on my forehead also when I'm all done I do have my Michael Todd blending brush and I will go over and I will go over my entire face and make sure that everything is blended so I think these run about $79 and they rotate about 400 times a second. So I think changes I have to make, I, I, I think it definitely was embracing brushes. And if you can swing, this isn't a sponsored video, but if you can swing a Sonic blending brush for your makeup, I think you'd really like it. I think it would be worth it. The next change that I made was with my blush and I no longer want to put my blush on an angle like this. I want your eye to go sideways. I mean, as I get older, Mother Nature is hollowing out my face. My, my eyes are becoming deeper set and my face is starting to look gaunt and that, that happens to everyone with age, um, except Melissa 55. <laughs> I love you, Melissa. I just had to say that. I'm sorry. Um, but what I do is I want your eye to go sideways. I want to fool you. I want you to think that I have uh, very uh, chubby pink cheeks and youthful uh, chubby pink cheeks that have had filler in them. <laughs> Not really, but you get my drift. So I have been taking the beautiful Becca Maui Nights, and they say this is a bronzer. It's not a bronzer. It's the most beautiful rose blush I've ever seen in my life. And I just take a little bit, and instead of going this way, I'm going sideways. I'm going sideways. And that way, your eye is, I'm kind of fooling you into thinking, oh my goodness. Her cheeks, look at that. There's there's just, underneath her eye, there's almost no uh, indentation. Look at those cheeks. <laughs> You're not thinking that, are you? I just am making that up in my own little fantasy world. <laughs> anyway, what I do then is I will take the Milani, um, this is my favorite Milani, the T-Rose the blush, and again, just tap it just a little bit and then go sideways with it. So it's kind of bronzer and blush, even though I consider them both blushes. But I want them going, I want your eye to be going this way. So I think it's a much more youthful look and, 
and I absolutely love it. And people sometimes, you know, they'll ask, you know, have you had some filler? It's like, oh, yes, my little, my little experiment is working. So, yeah, I like that tip. I think the next tip that's so important is when you line your lips. As we get older, sometimes our lips get smaller. If you're Italian like me, I swear they get bigger. Whether a person thinks we're good looking or not is based on whether they think our face is symmetrical. And as we age, you know, things aren't exactly symmetrical, especially our lips. So if we're drawing this complete circle around our lips, it's going to accentuate the fact that we're not symmetrical. So when I line, I don't line. I go right up to the corner of my mouth, but then I stop. So that is just personally how I line my lips. I, I don't line in the corner and every day I use my favorite plumping lip gloss. It's by CYO and I think the shade is um, barely speaking, I want to say. No, speaks volumes. <laughs> I'm old. You know, I don't really think there's any rules in makeup. I think we all have to, you know, find the techniques that makes us feel pretty, makes us feel confident. I think my favorite change that I had to make this year was the way that I do my brows. And I used to spend, oh, I used the IT Cosmetics Power Pencil, Brow Power, I don't know what it's called, but it lasts you for about 40 years, it never runs out. Just ask Swoozy. But anyway, I spent all my time for years and years just lining this up and, you know, turning my brows into a big polywog because I thought all my attention had to be right here. And no, all the attention has to be at the sweet spot of where your arch is. And so over accentuate that and all roads lead to and from your arch. And that is like it's like better than Botox. It's so cool. It like gives you an instant eye lift. So I think that's a fabulous tip and I, I, I love it. I love it. Did I say that? I love it. The last thing that I had to change about my makeup has to do with my skincare. And I always had a tendency to go ahead and use all my serums and my vitamin C before I, I would put on my makeup and then go to a special occasion. And I no longer I do that and I no longer can do that. Vitamin C and some of my foundations, it seems that the vitamin C makes my foundation oxidize a little bit more than if I don't use vitamin C. So I have, when I have a special occasion and I want to look good, I don't use my skin treatments. I will just use my uh, my primer, my uh, color correction uh, palette, and my oils or whatever moisturizer, but no um, no vitamin C. So that's been uh, uh, quite a change for me. The other thing too is when I walk out the door, I make sure that my touch up is going to include a little bit of argan oil and Q-tips. <laughs> So if I'm having a great time and I'm with my friends and I excuse myself and I go to the ladies room and I want to touch up my makeup, I'm going to need two things. I'm going to need a Q-tip to get rid of anything, any eye makeup that might have fallen on my face. But the most important thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of argan oil and I'm going to press it into my cheeks. and. Whatever I have used with my foundation or my powder or whatever is going on, just a touch of some type of oil to your cheeks. It just seems to heat up your face. Everything is blended in. And I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when I'm wearing my makeup, it, it will dry on my face just a touch if I'm having a bad day. So that's why it's so important if you have that oil in your purse, that never can happen to you. So with the Q-tip, getting rid of any fallout that you might experience, a little bit of blush, and then pouncing a little bit of argan oil on your cheeks and you walk out, you look like a million bucks. It looks like you just put on your makeup all over again. So. Those are the changes that I had to make for 2018, and I, I really hope that uh, a couple of them 
you know, might work for you too. Please let me know in the comments what changes that you have had to make with your makeup in the last couple years. It's a really good subject. First winner is Renee Brooke. Susan, I look forward to many, many more years of seeing you and Desi on YouTube. Right, and the grand prize winner is Marie Lorraine. I love your videos. Congratulations. You know, it's things like this that make me question my very existence. Okay, all right, this is the hot new mascara, Total Temptation. And this is in very black. And this is in black as black. What's the difference between black as black and very black? Can someone tell me that? I mean, I could be here for hours. Black as black or very black. It's, what? See, now I used to think something like that was so cute, but Dateline has ruined it for me. Look at, look at, that's the picture right before he pushes her in the lake and you never see his wife again. Oh, I hate Dateline. <laughs> You know, when I had my Q&A, I know I didn't answer any Desi questions and I feel so bad about that, but I promise you I'm going to have a whole video on Desi's world where I'm just going to answer Desi questions because you all love him so much and you want to know so many things about Desi and I so want you to get those answers. He is such an adorable, loving, wonderful dog and every single week I think we make progress. So, yeah, it's been pretty fantastic. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We loved every second of it. So have yourself a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see us, okay? And subscribe. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> see you next Friday. That's one of my very favorite vases and it has a big chip in it. It's kind of funny how we grow to love something. flawed something as is these roads intersect on each one I reflect these lines write my story these places change me each one replacing like night into morning is good or bad I guess most things are just as is